So I have calcific tendonitis and arthritis and bursitis in both of my shoulders. And every three months I have to go and get cortisone shots. And lately for the past uh, six months, I've also been getting bicep tendon injections. And that's because of doing this <laughs> for years and years and years and years making bath bombs. It's finally taken its toll on all of my joints. So Mr. Chef thought, well, let me go and get one of those um, arbor presses. I almost forgot the name of it for a second there. Let me go get an arbor press and let me make some modifications, which he did here, as you can see. So he put a little... I don't know, you guys. He put a little doohickey on the end here. There's a little fitting on the end and then a small round uh, plunger, I guess is what you would call this, on the bottom. And then he made a plate. Of, he took the regular plate off and he made a plate. So all of this is 3D printed with our 3D printers. So I thought, let me give this a whirl today. I've never used one of these before, have no idea what I'm doing, which just goes to prove, it doesn't matter how long I've been doing this, I can always learn new things. Now, I do believe that Tammy from Walnut Creek Bath and Body, I believe that she has at least one, if not two, different videos on using an Arbor Press. I don't, I didn't watch them, um, but my husband actually was doing some research, Mr. Chef was, and he said that he came across her video. So I don't know what her modifications were or how she did it, but I thought, well, let's learn together, shall we? I've never done this before. Don't know if you guys have. Let's rip, shall we? I'm gonna turn this the other way because I'm gonna need that handle. So I've got some mix already ready to go. And I actually need to make some ring bombs for the girls because I'm completely out. They're a really good seller. So basically I take like one of these beautiful little rings. Let's see if I can get this open with my gloved hand. Probably not. Nope. Okay, anyways, I take one of these rings and I put it in one of these little um, capsules that you can get off Amazon or Teemu. I don't even know if that's how you say it. Teemu, Teemu, whatever. Um, AliExpress, you can get these little capsules. And then I also get these rings. They're really nice ones too. They're not those really cheap ones that have the split on the bottom. You know, when we were all little girls and you had the, the bubble gum rings and it had the split on the bottom so you can squeeze it to fit your finger. That's not these. These are actually really nice rings. So let's see about this Arbor Press here. Uh, it, I'm interested to see how this is gonna work out. All right, I'm gonna do this as usual. Stick my ring right in the middle there. Build it up just a bit. Now, the only thing that I think I'm not gonna like, so I'm, a, I'm a fairly clean creator <laughs> when I'm making stuff. So the only thing I think I'm not gonna like is not having my tray to catch all of the extra stuff that's inevitably going to fall down in there. So that's okay. Let's, uh, let's move stuff around. Let's see, let's get you guys out of the way. All right, Arbor Press, come here, buddy. Let's see if you guys can see this. Maybe it'll be better this way, probably. All right, so let's bring him all the way up. I am just gonna give one push with my hand. Now, I'm gonna go in the middle and then I'm gonna go all the way around the outside and, and see how this works. I'll just, I'm good, not gonna like really force it. All right, so there's one. And then I'll just move it as I am pressing. I hesitate to do this with PLA plastic. In my mind, I just think it's going to crack. But my husband is trying to save my shoulders and my wrists. Okay, so that's that. Let's get the excess out of here. Ooh, see, that doesn't stay up. That just came flying back down interesting. Okay, let's do some taps here. It's hot as hell up in here though, you guys. I don't have my air conditioner or my fan or my um, dehumidifiers going. Hang on just a second. I need to get my plunger. There you go. Let's try it now. Hmm. Wow, this is stuck stuck. What the heck? Wow. Well, 
this is a first. Okay, well, <laughs> that, that definitely was not supposed to happen. All right, let's see if this just comes right off, if it's gonna stay together. Looks like it will. Hear that? That's the ring inside of there. All right, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm just so skeptical. I don't know if this is gonna stay together or not. I mean, looks good. I don't know, I'm just really skeptical, y'all. Hold, please. Let's put this over here for safe keep. I only need to make four of these today, and then the rest of the batch I'm gonna be doing just my regular strawberry. All right, let's do one more and see how, well, we'll do one more of the ring bomb, and then I'll do just a regular round, because I have to make some of those anyhow. All right, do my little hole in the middle. Grab another ring. All right, put the top on. All right, Mr. Arbor Press, come on over here. The only thing that I can see already that I don't like is that this is a very slow process. And when I'm in bath bomb land, I, I bang them out. Boom, 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 boom. Like, I, you know, ain't nobody got time for this kind of stuff. But if this saves my wrists and my shoulders, then I guess taking more time to make one of these is a good idea. Okay. All right, let's see how this one comes out. Sorry, this is a really slow process, y'all. I'm not used to this. Wow. Boy, oh boy. All right, well, it looks like everything is together. I mean, the true test is gonna be in a couple of days when I come back and take a look at it and make sure that nothing has started to crack here in the seam. I don't know, I'm just so skeptical, you guys. I'm gonna have to come back in a couple of days and take a look and see what, what it's doing. All right, let's move on from that. We'll do one more that's a regular size. Here's my regular round. This is our uh, two and a half inch round. That's the size that I make my bath bombs. All right, let's fill as usual. I'm just gonna put some embed powder in here. Okay, Let's see how it does with this. Hmm. You know, honestly, I don't know. It's like I'm putting, you know, some pressure on my wrist anyway. So I don't really know that this is going to save me any pain or anguish. Hmm. All right, let's try it. Jeez. I have never, ever, ever, ever had a hard time like this. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and brush that Saturn ring off of there because I don't like it for packaging purposes. It just, I just don't like it. 
Okay, well, I mean, it's staying together. I get, you know, I just, I just need to come back tomorrow and take a look and keep looking in the next couple of days. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this thing. Like, it's really, really slow going. And I'm just not used to that. I'm used to bang, bang, boom, get them, you know, whip them right on out of here. Okay. Well, if any of you guys have any tips or tricks or suggestions for me with this Arbor Press, because Mr. Chef went through a lot of trouble to make all of this. All of these pieces that he put on here are all from the 3D printer. Um, you know, he's just trying to make things easier on me so that I don't have to continue to go and get all these shots all the time. Anyways, all right, well, we tried it. I don't know what I think about it. Votes are still out on that. So you guys let me know down in the comments uh, if you have any suggestions to use this Arbor Press a little bit more efficiently. All right, well, anyways, that's going to do it. I'm going to keep on going here with the rest of these. So until we meet again, y'all, be kind, stay humble. Take care of yourselves and make your own good decisions.